So the most important thing is at the moment to create more public awareness that we can use CO2 with solar and wind. And this is a good idea to store uh, renewable energy and to have sustainable chemistry and fuels. The conference is about how we can utilize CO2 for fuels, for chemistry and polymers. And the audience, are, I think two thirds is industry. Industry we would like to uh, know the latest information about this new sector. Uh, what are the new developments, where they can invest, where are the markets. When we started five years ago, uh, only a small group of experts and niche, uh, niche experts was interested in this topic. All others have never heard about it and say it's a crazy idea and so on. But over the last five years, the people see how it's developing. And now we see Covestro is producing foam from CO2 since June this year. Well, it's, yeah, it's reality. And people ask me when it will come, I say, hey, it's there, it's today. So the people are, of course, then more interested also from the investment and so to see what's going on. They say, hey, it's a real business starting. And then they want not to be too late, of course. So we see then from 120 participants to nearly 200 now. And we moved to Cologne to have a better place for this uh, event here. Many of the politici politicians not really understand how we can use CO2. Uh, they see this is a dead end, uh, no energy in and so on. And it's true, but on the other hand, if you look to all the biomass, that is CO2 utilization. But I think industry can do it with a better efficiency today. Uh, so uh, if you look at it this way, then you can understand what, what we're doing here. On fuels, uh, on, on chemicals and polymers, it's also depending on the market. So if some, some big brands are interested to have CO2, based foams or plastics, uh, um, then uh, and the consumer is interested to have those sustainable products. So I think the next step will be on policy depending on the fuels and on the other thing is depending on the market development. Normally you say we have a raw material problem, so we're running out of raw material. But if you are able to utilize CO2, maybe not for the next 100,000 years. So this is all forever. Yeah? And this is a very interesting message. So there is a pathway for mankind who have no raw material problem, but we have to choose the right decisions. And if more people know about it, we can really start and go ahead. A big part on policy on visions will be smaller in 10 years, and the part on concrete fuels and polymers will be bigger. Because now we have the first day policy and vision, and the second day on chemicals and fuels. And I think we will, we will see more implementation of the pipeline in the next years. The conference is really showing how the whole sector is developing to more business.